Hey everyone, in this video, really short, we're going to show you how to generate a random number. Since we've been talking about the variables int and double, let's see how you can actually get a random number in Java. So I've had a little pick random here and a text random text box to put it in. Let's double click and uh, let's go for it. First thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a variable up here. I'm going to make it a double for now, just uh, we'll explain later, and I'm going to call it... Uh, mystery right it's gonna be the mystery number that's gonna be randomly generated now let's go down to where that button was clicked and where the button was clicked right there let's put a little bit of code it's a messy sloppy line I'm not really gonna explain it too much but it's just something that you can use when you need a random number I'm gonna say hey mystery set yourself equal to Now, yes, that's a bit of an ugly looking line for beginner, but here's basically what it does. This part right here, hey, math class, this is a math class already written in Java. It has a method already built inside called random. So, hey, math class, use your random method. This spits back a number between 0 and 0 0.99999 repeating. So, that's what that does right there. Them and the times by 100. Well, what's the lowest possible value that could give us? Let's say this finds a 0. 0 times 100 is 0. And at the biggest it could be would be 0 0.99999. Times 100 would be anywhere from 0 to 99.99999. The int part here is called a cast. And it'll actually take off the decimal, right? It turns it into an integer. Let me actually do that on another line. And so that's now 0 to 99. And then at the end, I add 1. So instead of 0 to 99, this actually finds from 1 to 100. Now I'm just going to put comments there so it doesn't wreck my program. And then the last thing I want to do here is I want to put in the text box. Hey, text random. Set your text to mystery. Now, all you really have to remember is this. If you put 100 there, it finds from 1 to 100. If I put 1,000 there, it would find from 1 to 1,000. If you put 6 there, it's going to find from 1 to 6. I mean, that's really the use that most people want out of the random at this point. And we can explain that later on, right, if you have questions. Let's give us a quick little test. I'll keep clicking the button and hopefully keep getting random numbers. Now notice since I made the variable a decimal, I actually didn't have to. But because I made it a decimal, you'll see it's adding the point zero, but it is just finding random numbers, which is beautiful for programs and it's good for me to give you a couple problems later to test out your code. That's random. You can use that pretty well anytime you want. Thanks for watching.